So, hello fellow coin collectors, how you going today? And my name is Glenn and I'm back with uh, these Brazilian coins. And uh, I realise I haven't made any coins on Brazil yet. So, I mean coin videos on Brazil. So, this is, um, I'm going to make a lot of videos on the coins of Brazil. Because there are a few people from Brazil that actually want to watch the videos. And any coin videos that are actually made of Brazil are probably in uh, Portuguese. So here I have well, the coins that were issued between 1967 and 1986. So nearly 20 years, 19 years they were in circulation. And between 1942 and 1994... Brazil actually had seven currencies because of hyperinflation. So, if you were saving money, it was totally worthless because it just would have been wiped out. And all these coins here are highly minted. So, the Centavos coins actually had Liberty on them, as you can see there. And the Cruzeiros coins actually had just images on the back. So this is coffee, this one is uh, sugar, so that's sugar cane for which we dry it out and get the sugar out. This one has a map of Brazil with the road networks. The 20 has uh, the Church of Francis of Assisi, so that looks like it actually has a side and also the top view. And the 50 Cruzeiros has the map of Brasilia, which is the capital of Brazil. Well, it's called Brasilia, so I would presume you would understand it's the capital. It's like ACT, which is the Australian capital territory in Australia. So, the 1 Centavos has a mintage of 100 million for 1967. And... Between 1975 and 1978, the 1, 2, and 5 had this commemorative in different, they had different images, but I've only got the 2 centavos, and this one has, looks like a coffee plant on it. And this is a FAO issue, so grow more food. And this one actually has, if you can see, if you can see, here, down there, so the top of there, and here it looks like it has some uh, damage that happened to the die, so it's got cuds on it, which um, are just pieces of metal that should be flat, but are instead raised. So that, that, that'll be classed as an error coin, and you'll probably get other coins that actually have a lot worse errors because these are steel, and steel is actually a quite hard coin to actually mint. Uh, we can do it, as you can see, but uh, it's generally not, not really favoured as a coinage metal. So here we have the difference, so between 1967 and 1975, the 10, 20, 50 centavos and the 1 cruzad, cruzados. Cruzeiros, sorry, I need to say, were copper nickel, and after 1976 they were stainless steel. So during the late 70s, 80s, and early 90s, they are actually all stainless steel because, wow, what's the point of producing coins in high value metals when, you know, they're just going to lose their value? And as you can see with this 1000 Cruzeiros from 1992. So this one actually lost its value and today actually introduced the Cruzeiro Real, which stabilised the currency. And then they introduced the Real. So, this one has a factory, that one has, it looks like oil derrick. And the 50 has a port with a ship in it. Could be a fishing ship. So A lot of people probably rely on fishing on the coast of uh, Brazil and probably also rivers. I like two centavos. As you can see here, it looks like a weak strike on the two. And also have a look at the metal. 
the metal is also they had a problem with it as well so that's another good coin to keep that's also an error and also has a, a double rim so I wouldn't be surprised if you can actually find a lot of errors anyway let's have a look at the other coins and see if there's any problem with the metal so generally the larger the coin the, the, the lot less problems they have with it and this one's quite a thick coin so no I don't see any problems with the other ones I'll have a look off the camera and uh, just so uh, get back to you see if there's anything else that's really good to keep so Brazilian coins from 1967 to 1986 very good to keep these ones go up to so I have the 50 cruzeiros and they actually should go up to 500 cruzeiros Yes, they do. Between 985 and 86, they actually issued a 500. And that's actually the highest denomination. So, if you want to collect Brazilian coins between this year, they're all pretty common. And the ones you should look out for are actually errors. They shouldn't be too hard to find. But they shouldn't be too easy to find as well. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Have an awesome coin collecting time, people. And subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my links below. How awesome coin collecting time people. Bye bye.